uh, we are now focusing on heat budget what is exactly heat budget that solar radiations are coming on earth surface that we are calling as insulation so whatever energy given by sun to earth that we are calling as insulation that whatever energy received by uh, earth that is radiated back in the space this concept is called as heat balance or heat budget so uh, if not what is the consequence there should be rising temperature constantly but from past several years we have data that no rise in temperature say so don't tell me about global warming concept here the rise is there but that is too less but suppose uh, earth is not radiating back energy then earth should be in very high temperature state till that because whatever heat is received that is accumulated only nothing is given back and that's why we have to check out that whatever the amount of heat or radiations are receiving on earth surface how it goes back in the space number 1 you are aware that earth's atmosphere is consisting of various clouds usually we can observe the color of cloud as white so whatever light is coming from sun to earth part of that is reflected by these clouds and atmosphere also particles in the atmosphere you are aware that in troposphere there are dust particles they are scattering out light so part of that light is radiated back let us assume that there are total uh, the amount which is coming inside is 100 units so amount of heat or uh, light that is coming to earth surface that is 100 units then out of that 100 units uh the simple thing is that 35 units are lost in atmosphere uh in the space by atmosphere only so whatever the 100 units are coming i have to say 35 units by reflection from atmosphere only it may be from this part it may be from this part anywhere but from that 35 units are lost by atmosphere that means on earth's surface there should be only amount of uh, 65 units should reach on earth surface but again the problem is that 14 units are absorbed by atmosphere uh, you are aware that gamma radiation all that they are absorb in upper part only then uh, certain ultraviolet radiations are absorbed by ozone like that various radiations various wavelengths are absorbed uh, that is uh, constituting amount of 14% so 14% is absorbed directly so 35% is reflected back then atmosphere will have 14% or 14 units rather i should say unit so 14 units are retained by atmosphere so 35 plus 14 that is 49 so 49 are not reaching on earth surface earth is receiving only 51% or 51 units so keep in mind whatever the insulation of that earth is receiving 100 units atmosphere is part of earth but out of that 35 is reflected back atmosphere and 14 are absorbed by atmosphere it something sounds like corruption problem in uh, say administration that whatever the amount is sanctioned to something that is not utilized many people are having this type of argument that suppose 100 rupees are sanctioned then the beneficiary is not getting 100 rupees they are absorbed somewhere like that so Uh, don't take it personally just giving idea that uh, sun is sending out energy to earth surface but part of atmosphere they are reflecting back for whatever reason secondly they are absorbed by yes 14 units are absorbed and then 100 units out of that only 51 are reaching on earth surface now what happened exactly on that 51% 
the 51 percent energy. Now try to recollect or again that same example that on surface suppose incident radiations are there. This is incident radiation. Part of that is reflected, part of that is transmitted, and part of that that is absorbed. So as earth surface is opaque, the transmitted amount is very very less. That can be only in upper part. That will be absorbed in upper part. So almost I should say that all radiations are absorbed. Some radiations are reflected back. What are the absorbed radiations? They are converting into heat. And you are aware that is emitted out as long radiations. Now, uh, these radiations are called as terrestrial radiations. So you are aware that fifty per fifty one percent part, whether it is reflected uh, that is reaching on our surface, that will reflect or radiate. Keep in mind two things are different. Reflect means what like that. and radiate means the absorbed energy is converted into long wavelength that means low energy radiation and absorb uh, radiated slowly so that is radiated that is around 51 units now out of that 51 units whatever the radiated energy out of that 34 units are absorbed by atmosphere so you are aware that atmosphere is absorbing absorbing uh, absorbing 14 unit directly and 37 units uh 34 not 37 is 34 units through reflect uh, radiated energy by earth surface so this way uh, we are getting here 48 units in atmosphere whereas from this 51 whatever the reflected or radiated 34s are absorbed so 51 minus 34 that answer comes as 17 seven 17 units are simply escape to space so 35 reflected again straight way 17 units they are also coming out So 35 plus 17, they are going out. Now this 48, whatever we are talking, that 48 units are radiated back through atmosphere. So atmosphere is also radiating 14 units. So try to make total of these all. You will get reflected 35 plus 17. That will cost uh, 52. 52 plus 48. That is 100. So 100 units are going inside, whereas 100 units are going outside. As a result, we are getting the heating effect due to solar radiation or insulation is zero, and that's why Earth's temperature is constant. Basic idea. I am revising again. Let us check out this topic once again because it is not that easy to understand. I am aware. so let us check out again sun is giving out energy in all direction out of that we are getting only approximately 2000 millionth part of energy whatever energy is coming to earth surface or earth rather that is inclusive of atmosphere we are calling that as insulation out of that insulation that means 100 units are supposed coming out 35 units are reflected back by atmosphere reasons are so many dust particles are present then clouds are present all that we have to consider the 35 units are reflected back by atmosphere now 14 units are absorbed by atmosphere so 14 units are absorbed by atmosphere so 35 plus 14 we are getting 49 so 51 units are reaching on earth surface they are either reflected or radiated back the radiated back 35 units uh sorry radiated back uh, 34 units are absorbed by atmosphere mainly because of carbon dioxide and water vapors we are calling them as greenhouse gases so they retain this heat for a while but at the same time radiated amount 17% is going out so this way 
outside we are getting 35 plus 17 that is 52. Now whatever here 14 units are absorbed directly by atmosphere and 34 units by radiant heat of earth surface that we are calling terrestrial radiation total we are getting 48 units and these 48 units are radiated back by atmosphere. And that's why if you make total 100 units are incident whereas 100 units are reflected back or sent back in space. This way heat is balanced we are calling that as heat budget. This topic is now finished out about the atmosphere particularly insulation and heat budget. But next topic is in connection with that that is greenhouse effect and global warming.